Let's see guys and peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure IPv6 both on a router and on a computer, right? Okay, so I'll open our Google spreadsheet. I'll let you know that we are in number 15 IPv6 configs plus Slack. So Slack basically stands for stateless address auto configuration. So we're going to learn that as we carry on okay all right so basically in this topology you can see i did them as a little bit of comment here gua and link local for ipv6 we are only going to deal with gua or link local during this series of training okay so gua stands for global unicast address okay all right so without any further ado, I'll open our notepad and I like the steps that we're going to follow to achieve the objective. The first step is also to draw the necessary topology, decorate and comment. So as you can see in this topology, we have a router here connecting LAN A and LAN B. And this router, it is IPv6 enabled router. Okay. And all the two LANs are using IPv6 addressing. Okay, so we need to configure IPv6 both on the router and on the computers, right? So make sure you use 2911 router, 2960 access layer switches, okay? Alright, so we go to step 2 that says that we configure IPv6 to the routers and include both the link local and GUA. So basically, when we are configuring IP address, when you are configuring IPv6 address on any interface of the router, it's recommended that you include the two, GUA and link local. GUA stands for Global Unicast Address. So the Global Unicast Address enables communication between multiple networks or with the remote networks. From this network to this network, the Global Unicast Address will enable that. But to communicate inside the LAN here, we use link local. Okay, so it's very, very important that you configure both in the same interface of the router. Okay, so let's do it very, very fast, save time. So we first check on the interface, Gig00. This is Gig01. Just click on the router and then just say no. Okay, then enable config T. Then interface gig zero slash zero so no shot let's turn it up first all right now it's up and before we assign ipv6 address on any route make sure that ipv6 address service is enabled on this route okay so we, before we do that just say exit before we configure ipv uh, ip addresses IPv6 addresses, let's enable IPv6 on this router. So how do you enable IPv6 on a router? We just say IPv6 unicast address, unicast routing, sorry, and that's all. So you have to ensure that you include this command when you are going to deal with IPv6 addresses. Okay, so now that you've enabled IPv6 on the router, now let's go ahead to configure ipv6 on the interfaces so we go back to x00 then we just say ipv6 ipv6 address we start with link local okay we copy this link local address okay then we paste it there after you've configured the link local address make sure you specify that this is a link local okay right then we just hit enter Configure IP address, IPv6 address, then specify that it's link local and you hit enter. Now let's go to global unicast address. We just do the same way, IPv6, oops, IPv6 address, okay. Then we copy, we copy this. Remember this is a network. This is a network now. The GUA here is a network. The GUA here is a network. So we just paste the network and now put any number that we want remember we want this one to be the gateway of LAN A when they are going outside okay so let's 
start using one colon colon one double colon one okay then don't forget subnet mask okay and just hit enter that's all exit so when you go back to this side also so that side also it's gig zero one gig zero one no shot turn it up first then configure link local first okay so the link local here should be um here should be two now here should be two now okay the link local there should be i'll just try to retrieve the above configuration i'll change this to two okay and hit enter now let's configure the gua which is very very important i copy all of it and I come to the router and just say ipv6 address then i paste the what i co whatever i copied remember i just copied the network and now to make it um ip address just add one there so that it becomes the default gateway default route okay and you just hit enter exit and do right so guys basically we're done with ipv6 configuration on the route so when we go back here we go back down here we can see LAN A IPv6 to be slack. LAN B IPv6 to be both static and slack. So basically, we can statically assign IPv6 address on the computers. Or use slack concept. So slack concept being that this interface has been enabled with IP address. The slack concept will auto configure itself as per the addressing here. Okay. So if you can just go here. You can see here then you come to desktop you come to IPv, ip configuration then down here under pv6 if you try to put it auto as automatic you can see you see it's auto configuring itself itself as per ip address of this interface of the route okay or so you have to understand what slack mean okay or you can see our our link local was for 82 32 so the same can apply here you can just go here and see here fair 81 and if you can just see the format 201 bb9 or bb9 uh, aab aab 123 123 then the rest are auto configured as per the uh mark address okay so you just have to understand what slack means so that's what slack so let's do for automatic i mean static so i want to configure static ip ipv6 address on this computer and i believe this computer so for this computer i just copy this network i'll just copy that network i come to this computer come to p addressing then under static I just paste that one and make this 10 okay all right then this one should be 64 as as you remember then the default gateway i want it to be the gua address on the route okay okay so that's okay then let's go to a configure static ip address on this one ipv6 address on that one so i could just copy that one i come to the computer here and uh, paste that one here and make it 10 here 64 and default gateway was dot i mean column one okay all right so basically the two this one and this one i used slack but this one and this one static address configuration so i want to try to ping from this computer to any of the computers so i'll just try to copy a address of this computer here ipv6 address okay then when i come to this computer here and come to command prompt then ping can see it's pinging successful okay all right so we can even ping from the one that we just configured right now okay you can just try to ping from this one also ping good you can see it's ping okay all right so but guys basically you can do it anyway you can do it uh, either ways you can do it manually or use slack even if you decide to use slack here guys you can see it will auto configure itself you can see but now it's using the default gateway as the link local that which is used for local communication. When it wants to go outside, it will use 
the GUA, okay? All right, so basically, I think this video has really helped you now to configure IPv6 address with Slack, okay? Both on the computer and the router. So when I go back here, I will mark that option as done. So when we meet next, let's undo IPv6 DCP server, okay? All right, so thank you so much, and let's see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.